Good evening and welcome to Meta 2020. I'm your girl D, and I'm here today with my sister Joy Rain. Hey sis. Hey, sis. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. No, thank you so much for taking out time. You're a busy, busy schedule to sit down and have a talk with me today. I really, really appreciate it. And it means the world to me. Oh, it means the world to me too. <laughs> awesome. Girl, we are not going to be pulling out the <laughs> tissues and stuff like this. We're not doing this today. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely not. So I would like to say that Joy um, holds a special place in my heart, first of all. She is my real sister from another mister, period. <laughs> and I really yes. do love her with all my heart of hearts. So today is very special to me to have her here in my own, in my space. Um, mm -hmm. She's incorporated me in her real RIL life. She's in mine as well. Um, and that's where we are. So I would like yes, to get to talk to you a little bit more about what have you been up to, Joy? Like, Joy, oh you guys, she has been so busy <laughs> doing a numerous of things here in Horizon. So we're first going to talk mm -hmm. about um, when you got when you first got into Horizon and you put your headset mm -hmm. on, what was your thought process about um, the things here in Horizon? Well, when I first got here in Horizon, I um, went to my first show was Dame's Lives. So, yeah. so shout out to Dame's. Um, and I brought my husband in and we went there and we were like, oh, my gosh, this place, it, the community and everything. So that's where we got our first start. And one of the first worlds that I actually went to was Miss Rox's um runway world her fashion world and i okay. did a video that <laughs> i was modeling um you know down the runway mm -hmm. in her wearables and mm -hmm. so that was before um meta news and everything so i didn't even know Ms. rocks at the time but i love fashion and i love you know the world and so i reached out to her and i was like i absolutely love this world and mm -hmm. so that's kind of where i got started in horizon just like you know world hopping and everything Okay, so world hopping was your first experience. So when you when you first um came into Horizon, just was building on your mind at all when you stepped into the whole like oh they show us how to build in the beginning was that on your mind in the beginning? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh -huh. No, I didn't um felt like I needed to build anything because I I was really enjoying the things that other people created. Yes. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to enjoy everything and, and socialize. I love, so you know, I love to talk we and do. I love socializing <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and talking to people. So I really enjoyed that for the longest. Yes. Yes. Awesome. 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 So as time went on, you've been here for a while and everything and you've mm -hmm. experienced quite a few things. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what what um what what inspired you to begin to um begin to build? What inspired you to begin to build? Before we get to talk okay. about what you built, right? Okay. So before we get into the building, I was I just want to say that I was a part of so many things. I did um I won season one of yes. um, Sunday Best. Yes, so that was really fun. Yeah. And then I, <laughs> I won um, the second season of the stage, Genesee. She had a singing competition, so I won that. Yes. And then um, I participated in Fashion Week and girl, mm -hmm. I'm drifting. Um, <laughs> that, that <laughs> I participated. In, yes, girl. Oh, I need to get it together. But um, <laughs> participated in Fashion Weeks um, held by uh, Jay Vanity. Shout out Jay Vanity and the wonderful Miss Rocks as well. Yes. Her wonderful Fashion Week. So yes. I, I've done a whole bunch of stuff. But getting into building, I, like I said, I never thought that I was was going to build but god woke me up and i have to say god woke me up at 4 30 in the morning my my husband mm -hmm. tells this story all the time god woke <laughs> me up at 4 30 in the morning i had this vision of joy in the morning and i hit him and i was like babe i gotta go build this and he was like huh like you know he was like well yeah go go do what you <laughs> gotta do because i'm asleep <laughs> <laughs> yes because i'm asleep so i went in there and i was just building girl and i built 
joy in the morning in one day. The full concept of it uh -huh. in about nine to ten hours. I built the full oh, concept Lord. of it. The framework and everything like that of joy in the morning because God gave me this vision. And so I had to get it out. And so I told my husband to come and see. And he was like, oh, my gosh, you did this? And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I, I, I did this. And he was like, <laughs> Wow. I cannot believe this. Now we had already been playing with the building tools yes, and everything yes. like that. Just, you know, dabbling with it, but nothing serious. But mm -hmm. when that vision came to me, I was like, I had to really do this for real. Okay. And that happened and it's been going ever since. So speaking of joy in the morning, I would like for you to tell the viewers, what was the, con what is the concept behind joy in the morning? And which mm -hmm. is, amazing and what oh, um <laughs> it is amazing and what's the concept behind joy in the morning and what is it that you're what is your goal as it relates to joy in the morning yeah so um joy in the morning is a place where um the world is all centered around helping people become more joyful, optimistic, and yearning for positivity. And yes. so when you yes. spawn into the world, it's dark, it's raining, and it symbolizes how we are in our lives sometimes. We find ourselves in the mm -hmm. midst of a storm, like in a really dark place. And I have some phrases on the walls that um, symbolizes some of the things that we we thought about in our lives yes. like yes. why wasn't someone there for me will i ever find love why is this happening to me why do i always have to be the strong one like mm -hmm. stuff stuff like that and at the top of it it says um uh, uh it's always darkest before dawn yes Yes. And you have to choose a path. There's three paths that you have to choose. And all of the paths lead to the set of joy in the morning. And that symbolizes yes. you, you overcoming something in your life. And mm -hmm. I always say this to people always think that joy in the morning. <laughs> people <laughs> always think that joy in the morning is a talk show about yes like my name is joy and it's in the morning time <laughs> the morning. first of all i'm not a morning person so mm -mm. don't look no. forward to be in the morning time she's not <laughs> and joy in the morning is a expression saying that you're going to overcome something and yes. there is a scripture in the bible that says weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning and so that represents you overcoming something in your life. And so that's what the show is about. We overcome stuff. We talk about the problems and what's going on. And we talk about solutions on how to overcome it. Mm -hmm. So it's a really encouraging, uplifting thing. And when the show is over, my favorite part is when we go in the exit lobby and we read those affirmations. It's the join the morning affirmations. <laughs> Yes. Tell me, D, like, how did you feel about the animations? Every time. Because I know you've I, been there several <laughs> times. I'm there. Yes. I'm there. I'm there all the time. So absolutely. When I read the affirmations, mm -hmm. every time I get a different feel. It's the we read the affirmations and it's the energy from the affirmations is different every time you can read something, yes. you can read them, you can read something, get a new meaning from it. You can see something, get a new meaning mm -hmm. from it. And that's what happens to me whenever I'm there reading the affirmations. I read them with enthusiasm because <laughs> I'm excited yes, about it and I mean it when I say the affirmation. So when I tell you, Joy, those affirmations mean so much to me. I actually wrote I took a picture and then I wrote them down in my journal and I read them at yes. home for myself. So yes, every it. time I go, and I'm so glad you did explain that joy in the morning is not her name. It's not that it's not about right. her talking about herself. It's not that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The show itself. Um, if I could say it has healed me from some things, um, that I was oh. going through at the time when I needed the joy in the morning and I was Look, going I'm through looking a for confetti. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Like, and I, yeah, and I was going through a dark moment in my life. Um, and Joy knows this. And so when I went through the Joy in the Morning experience and I sat amongst her and um her uh encouragement and things that sort, and then the energy from the audience helped yes. to heal me while I was helped to heal me while I was going through some things. And can you tell us like what was um a favorite moment of yours during that during your first season of Joy in the Morning? 
Oh, it has so many, um, <laughs> it, girl, it's so many things because we laugh, we cry, we talk yes. about all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah. but one of my favorite moments was, um, when the guy Dami came, yep. came in yes. and he, he didn't know what was going on. We were talking, I'm not sure what we were talking about, but, mm -hmm. uh, he came in, he didn't know what was going on. And then he, he felt so comfortable that to tell us that he was going to commit suicide, Yes, but finding the headset being able to find community at hardy world spades yes. helped him prevent himself from committing suicide and yes. we were like wow that wow. was totally amazing the world creator hardy was there it mm -hmm. was just really emotional and so mm -hmm. that was one of the highlights there but every time we have an um an episode there's always new revelation that comes and it's always new people that feed into the conversation and everybody yeah. contributes that's what i absolutely love about yes. every show is that mm -hmm. everyone contributes and they find community in this space yes so with the way um the horizon is set up were you concerned about um you not being received well from the community because of your positivity and everything that you're pushing out Absolutely. Like whenever you step into something and you do something new for the first time, that mm -hmm. always goes through your mind, whether you're going to be received by people. But yeah. what I found is that being your authentic self, you have to be comfortable with you. And if you accept you, then no one else's opinion of you matters. Mm -hmm. Yes, affirmation. And so, <laughs> yes. And so what I have to do is I have to find the peace within myself. And every time I had a show, um, I was comfortable with what I did. And so whenever I'm comfortable with that, then that's whatever it is. Me and my husband before every show, we would pray. You know, yeah. I know that may style kind of taboo, but we would pray that somebody would get something that mm -hmm. would um, help them along the way or encourage them or, yes. um, you know, take something good from the show. And so we've son seen nothing but great testimonials, people being healed, people being joyful, optimistic and yearning for positivity. So I'm so excited about the show. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Can you tell us when it's when and we've been waiting? I know I have, and I'm sure <laughs> the majority of the people out here that has been experienced enjoying a morning, we have been waiting. Can you tell us when will we have a season two? <laughs> yes, season two is coming. It's coming Yay! this month, the month of December. <laughs> Stay tuned. And follow me on my Instagram and the Joy in the Morning Instagram. You will see when the official date will be released. But the wait is going to be over, y'all. It's coming this month. And we have some treats and some new things coming. And it's going to be amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I just want to say, Joy, I appreciate you. And oh, this one I want to ask you also. If when you when someone puts on their headset and they're getting into um here coming here into Horizon for the first time, because you know we have a plethora of new people that's going to be here very very soon. Mm -hmm. You know, since the holidays are coming and everything. Um, mm -hmm. and for that new person that's putting on their headset and trying to figure out this Horizon thing and everything, what would you? What would be your advice to them coming into this new space? I my advice to them would be to explore. And to really hone in and know yourself, mm -hmm. find that journey of knowing you because you could get caught up in seeing what other people are doing. You can get caught up in seeing their progress and their journey and be like, OK, well, I'm not there yet. How can I get there? And everybody's journey is different. So yeah. what I would encourage that person to do is really do a deep dive of self mm -hmm. um, and then be able to express yourself through building and, you know, one block at a time, building yes. and everything like that. But to not get discouraged and not try to be on the competitive side and try to do what other people are doing, make sure mm -hmm. you know what what's your lane. much joy i really appreciate you for taking out time of your building schedule your busy schedule with you and your husband and everything to meet me here at yes, meta 2020 girl. i really appreciate it 
This is my the, okay. Yes. Oh, Joy, can you please? You did start to tell us about your handles, where people can find you at. Can you tell everybody, mm -hmm. the viewers, we need your Cash App, your Instagram, <laughs> your your mama's maiden yes. name. No, I was playing. Oh, girl. <laughs> Oh, girl. So, <laughs> yes, you can follow me on all social media at Joy Rain VR. And you can follow the show, um, Joy in the Morning, at J I T M Show. Um, and also, too, my husband and I, we have the podcast, Get Them to the Metaverse. So make yes. sure that you follow that, the YouTube. And um, yeah, so. Yes, okay. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> Jay Dunn, can you please join us up here, please? Thank you, sir. He, he, come on, brother. <laughs> hey, how you doing, bro? I still don't have a house. But I'm oh, good. God. Oh, we good, we good, we good. We good. Oh, my We're God. Still, we're good, we're good. We're good. Hey, Jay Dunn. What's up, I'm just, bro? I'm Thank just you. here to support my sister and, of course, my beautiful, amazing, incredible wife oh, wasn't here to oh. to do anything but i will be here if you need me baby you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro can you real quick you, real babe. quick tell us um <laughs> so she just mentioned getting it getting it we're gonna have to um talk about that getting getting them to the metaverse get, get them to the metaverse yeah 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 period yeah, yeah. yeah amazing okay. podcast where our mission yes. statement is all about uh basically saying making the extraordinary metaverse an ordinary part of life so that's what yeah. our mission statement is. As you know, this is kind of a mission statement. So anything we do, you got you in the morning, yes. making things joyful, optimistic, and yearning for positivity. Then we have get them to the metaverse. Then we have getting things done, but we mm -hmm. motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant technology. So we know each other's missions. We're out here trying mm -hmm. to continue to push positivity, push the platforms forward, push VR forward. And of course, above all that, Horizon Worlds, which is our community, our home, is where our family mm -hmm. is. And we yes. love pushing it. So, and yes. shout out to Meta News blowing up all over the web. Yes, uh, you know, shout out to Meta News. News. We see the we see the movement. It's a movement out here in these. It's Meta a movement, streets. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We this, really appreciate my, you all. You know, this, this so, oh yeah, movement. Joy, you forgot to tell oh. the people. Don't forget to get your. <laughs> uh oh, don't forget to get your Joy in the Morning merch. Yay. Oh yeah, most definitely, sis. You be rocking and you be looking good. And I, Thank I, you. I actually have the join the morning draws on right now, but they're not <laughs> right now. Oh my okay. God. Uh, yes. Yes, I, I actually do. But uh, yes, you can yes. um get the joy in the morning <laughs> and all of our um brands at onyxleafmedia.com. So mm -hmm. you can find that and also go to um our Instagrams and you'll see it in our links. In yes. our bios, you can see that as well. So yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys so so much, bro. I pray that with this new update, the new new update, that you get a home. And we're gonna keep praying about that. <laughs> we're so not gonna talk thank about you. It. We're not gonna talk about it. This our show. This our this our time. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> he'll, he'll get upset. He'll get upset. I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me today and joining me with my sister here, Joy. Um, I just want you all to be you because nobody else can be you but you. Enjoy. Yes. <laughs>